Okay, so um, welcome back. Today what we're going to do is um, do a codality problem on time complexity um, in which we are going to get an array of sequential numbers and one of the numbers in the sequence are missing. So we'll have an array per se uh, um, which is called A and this array will have the following values 2, 3, 1 and 5. As you can see, um, it has the values 1, 2, 3, but it's missing 4 and it skips to 5. So how will we approach solving this? Usually what I would do is I would write out the steps, I would diagram it, but today I'm just going to rush it. right? So there's an equation called Gauss's equation. Since we know the numbers are sequential and we know that one is going to be missing, what we can do is calculate the real sum that it should be based on the length, right? So we have the array's length and we have the real sum, which would be, actually let's make the length called n this time. And the sum would be, since in this case we start at zero, rather than 1, the sum is going to be n plus 1 times n plus 2 divided by 2. And that's Gauss's equation. So for any array of n length, um, what Gauss says is that um, the actual sum can be calculated by this formula which is if the values start at 1. But in our case, it starts at 0. So in our case, it started at uh, our position starts at 0. So our n is actually n plus 1. OK, so now what we can do is we can actually get the sum, the true sum, based on uh, sum is equal to 0 and we're going to calculate it using a loop and a summation so i is less than n i plus plus and so our true sum equals to a of i and we're going to sum that up for everything from the beginning to the end okay so then all we have to do is return our sum, which is going to be um, the difference between our sum and the true sum, is going to be the missing number. In the case that there is no missing number, it's just going to return a zero, right? So we'll run it. There we go. And we have just created a way to solve this problem of the missing sequential number in all of one time. Okay, let's see, we might have missed the edge case or something, which I doubt. Okay, all right, we got 100%, and uh, as you can see, it's actually O of n time because there's a loop, my mistake. Um, but the Gauss equation actually prevented us from having to use another loop, right? So, um, yeah, so that's all for. Uh, the permutation missing element um, algorithmic question. That's all for now. Until next time.